one of the things that is interesting about the story is that it's possible to say no to something, to refuse something. In extreme situations, if everyone else says yes to that thing. And uh, the example here is that you don't have to carry a gun if everyone else is carrying a gun. <laughs> But you can o you can only do that when the other people carry guns, because other <laughs> otherwise you don't have any chance of surviving, right? <laughs> because it's the other people carrying guns that protect you. It's a similar philosophy that I have with, or that I had with the television, which is I don't need a television because everybody else has got one. <laughs> um, and so. There's always somebody somewhere who wants to watch something, so I, I don't really need one. And not only are they in all homes, they're in all bars and pubs and clubs and, uh, it's, it's, I don't know, railway stations. And they're, they're just everywhere. You, you can't really escape them. So in that situation, you can say, okay, I don't need one. Like if everyone else has got transportation, if everyone else has got something like that, you can survive without it because you can call on your friends to help you <laughs> with with those things. Um, but you can only do it because so many other people are doing the opposite, <laughs> and that's that's what allows you to be to be different. Um, you can only essentially be different when so many other people are being the same. Because that gives you freedom. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if we relate that to, to basketball, it's uh, you can do your own thing if everyone else is working together as a team doing the team thing. <laughs> right? Then you can be independent and do your own thing. But if you've got five players all doing their own thing, <laughs> it's, it's, it's just not good. <laughs> it's not good. Okay. No, no, it's it's uh, there's going to be some problems somewhere. <laughs> there, it's really not not going to work, and so it's a it's a very interesting example of balance in situations where you can have extreme things if they're in a minority, and it's perfectly okay to have that, but you can only have that because. Everything else is stable and exists and organized. Um, you know, people can only get money from the government to support their to support themselves because there are other people out working. <laughs> so they can only not work <laughs> because, or or not work and have money for food and a place to live because there are other people who are working who are paying for the whole system to function. And uh, people tend to tend to forget that, uh, that that's the way it works, right? Um, I've got this really crazy example in my head of uh, the, I, don't, I, I know why I'm thinking about this today, actually, uh, about lesbian and gay cultures, right? You can only have lesbian and gay cultures because 99% of society is heterosexual and not homosexual, because 99% of society keeps society going it keeps it as a future they have kids they 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 procreate the the, the world grows and so because you have most of the people like that you can have a small group of people who are just different and maybe strange in the eyes of some people um and i was thinking about that because there was a lot of there were a lot of news stories that i was reading yesterday about alternative alternative cultures so uh so that's that's interesting, and the people who are in the extreme situations, the extreme groups, they sometimes forget that they're extreme, <laughs> and that they can only do what they do because everyone else is normal. <laughs> like weird people can only be weird because everyone else. You can only you can you can have your pink hair and your nose pierced and your I want to die t-shirt, right? You can do that because 
you're in a minority and you want to be different from everybody else and and and, and that's okay but if everybody had pink hair and nose piercings and had t-shirts that say kill me now then the that would be a really bad sign for society <laughs> i think so you know if, if every radio station played death metal music it would be a bit brutal i think <laughs> So so you can only have the extremes and extreme alternatives when uh, when you have some stability in society and it's a sign of a generally stable society when you have a small minority of people who are a bit weird. <laughs> yeah. Now when you enter a society where a lot of people are quite strange then the world starts to fall apart. Uh, all these people trying to start alternative communities. Those nice ideas in theory, some really nice ideas in theory, but it's really hard in practice because you can only have the alternative because there's a mainstream. Um, thinking of other examples of extreme ideas, like extreme. You can only have extreme sport, sports if you've already got mainline sports, and a lot of people do those. Because then there'll be a small group of people who want to do something extra, something different. You know, because cause so many people love skiing, you can have a small group of people who do the black piece off run skiing or go backwards down mountains or do parasailing and skiing mixed together or uh, just ski where they shouldn't ski, <laughs> basically. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so uh, oh, it's just something to something to think about.